Marcos Viegas, Fight Up TV. What's up, everybody? Being joined with Oshaki Foster, who's going into this rematch with Hobson Kunsen Sao coming up November 2nd. Man, time is flying by, uh, Shock, but hey, you're getting this rematch. You're getting it immediately. Uh, you, you wasted no time. You jumped right back into it, which sometimes it's rare. Uh, but talk to me about the importance of wanting to get get that, get this, which was controversial uh, by many accounts, and, and get it back the right way for you. Um, it's super important for me because, I mean, we had a plan, man. We had a plan. I should be on my fourth defense by now. Um, actually, I should be waiting for the winner of Valdez and, and Navarrete. So we can unify, but um, man, I just thank God that we got the we got the rematch, and you know we able to go in there and right that that wrong. So you know, many like people felt that you won the fight, but you know, ultimately he he got the decision. Yeah. What are some of those factors that you're gonna make sure don't happen again, so that it doesn't go his way this second time around? First off, we got new judges. No, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you, you, got, you better ask for those judges not to justify. I would hope your team went ahead and did that. Like, yo, these judges cannot judge this fight. Coming nah, up. <laughs> no more. Nah, <laughs> uh, man, just just getting getting busy, man. Um, I understand that he he threw three hundred more punches or whatever more punches. You know, just just putting more combinations together and being more active. Um keeping everything sharp like I was, the defense and everything, but, you know, just, you know, showing, showing off a little bit more. Did you feel or or could you, like, say, like, hey, you know what? Maybe I could see why the judges scored it this way because of my activity. Like, like could you, like, be transparent enough to see that? Or, or you're still like, nah, there's no way. Like, what the hell were they watching? Well, I'm a- – in my eyes, um, it was it was an easy fight, and even when I went back and looked at it, but I don't, I take everything and I and I and I try to take, um, something good out of it, or I try to look at the negatives and see where I could have did better. So I did. I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, I could have I could have went to work a little bit more. I could have uh put together a certain combination a little bit more. Um, but that's just me. Anything, anytime something goes wrong, I'm going to always look at it and, and see what I could have done better or what I've done more. I'm never going to be satisfied at, you know what I mean, the outcome. Even if I would have won, I wouldn't have been satisfied with, with my performance. Uh, you know, your your division has what? Navarrete, Lamont Roach, Valdez, Cordina, yeah. a, a lot of a good names there. But, you know, uh, Lamont Roach uh, making a lot of news because he, he's fighting uh, Gervonta Davis uh, coming up. You're familiar with uh, Lamont. And, and yeah. uh, Gervonta, what do you overall make of the fight? And then your personal opinion of Lamont. I think it, I think it's gonna be a good fight. Um, early, I don't know. I think it's gonna be more of a good fight than people think. Mm. Um, I I definitely think that. Um, Why do you think that? Because Lamont not no bum. Um, and he like some people you know you you know how like. You've been knowing, like, say basketball, football, you've been knowing these guys since y'all was in AAU, small. So you know what they bring to the table, kind of. Like, they didn't fought all the guys. Like, so all of us, we all came in the same amateurs together. So we we kind of know, like, I kind of know what what he brings to the table. He didn't, he didn't fought some serious guys, both of them. You know what I mean? They both, they didn't fought, from what I heard, they fought twice when they was in the amateurs, and it was both good fights. Um... He just ain't got a huge name, so everybody going to look past him. But I think it's going to be a good fight early. Do you think he he does better than uh, Frank Martin? Uh, that I don't know. Frank Martin did good. Frank Martin did good um, early. I think he was just scared of the power a little bit. I think potentially because he got more he got more at stake than, than Frank Martin, like, not just talking about the money, but East Coast rights. You know what I mean? They both from the same area up there. Like, they're going to have their people against each other, so he's going to have to show up. And, and You know what I mean? Mm. So, you know, you mentioned that uh, you've seen both of them grow up uh, and you're what? familiar with them from the amateurs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you know, like, not Yeah, not, not up, like, like you know yeah, yeah, I mean? but like, like we grow up, up in the in... amateur system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
what's I just what are people overlooking? Like in your opinion, just like having that like keen eye, like that that close up eye. Like what what do you think that is? Like if people are like, no, they, they don't know this. Like I saw this in, in in him when he was an amateur. Yeah. Nah, it's just um, you know when you when you got real guys, um, some some of these pros, you 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 might be like, I I don't know, he got like you know like 16, 20 fights, and he twenty and zero, and you really don't know what he bought. Um. And they got certain guys like, you know, the LeMans, me, you know, certain people like Kenny Sims, guys that they ain't got a huge name, but was rocking out in the amateurs, fought everybody, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And 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 they got a certain kind of respect to when they, you know, everybody know they the truth. So that that's kind of what I meant. So, you know, he, he's moving up a, a way to, to have this fight, uh, but uh if I'm not mistaken, he's in your division at 130 pounds. Is, is there like a, a friendship there between you guys? Or, or no, nope. no, there's not. So are, are you seeing that potentially <laughs> as a as a fight down the road for you as as well? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. that that that's the fight I was trying to get. We were trying to make that fight happen before Concesio. Um, but he just he ain't signing. He wasn't on the same page. Um. But most definitely, um, now nah, ain't he not a he not a friend and he not he not an enemy either. But he's a he's a he's a ox. <laughs> he's a <laughs> pure competition. Hey, he's in your yeah, division yeah, because yeah. he's in your division. He's he's the opposition. He's, he's yeah, the enemy. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I see that. I see that. Uh, so what happened then? You said was there something sent to him? Like, did the, you ever hear back? Like, why didn't they go through with the fight? He said he wasn't offered enough money. This this is what he went to Twitter and said. Hmm. He said he wasn't offered enough money. What's not enough money for him? I don't know. Hmm. I guess I guess he wanted what he getting paid for Tank. Yeah, I have no idea what he's getting paid for Tank, but I would imagine it's it's a substantial amount just because it's it's Tank and it's pay per view and Tank when he fights right. he he gets a big crowd and sells out arenas. Right, you know what I mean. I think you know he probably wanted to cash out. He didn't want to just lose to me, and 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 you know what I mean. So uh, curious, then curious. Let's run. Let's run this scenario. You versus him. How how does it explain to me? How does it look? Me versus Lamont. Yeah. Early. He gonna try to be all tough. He gonna try to. He gonna try to uh you know counter tough. But I'm just gonna control it with the jab. Control it with combinations. And then once I start catching him towards the middle rounds, he's going to start breaking down. You're going to start seeing him slow down. And he's going to stand there a lot more. Then I'm going to switch southpaw and just start blitzing him. And then it's going to be over with. They're going to be like, nah, stop the fight. Do you, are, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop playing, bro. <laughs> is, is, is that gonna happen with the tank fight too? Like, do, do you see like it's the same? It'll go the same way. Like, did you just explain how the tank fight's gonna go? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. I'm just messing around, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I wish buddy the best in this fight, bro. Uh, when I, I always want to be the one that, that 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 beat the person. I don't never yeah. wanna uh makes. I don't want to be. I don't never want to be one of them guys. Oh, I hope he lose before he gets to me. Nah, I want to be the one beat you. So, nah, I wish them the best, both of them guys on they they what's the name. And I'm focused on November second. I'll just climb around though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, November second, man. A lot of uh, opportunities, a lot of uh, ramifications. We're we're getting into 2025 uh, soon. Uh, yeah. Looking at Nessir, I would imagine you're eyeing, you know, to get what you felt was yours, but also into big fights. But what's your like? ideal 2025 look like in, in your opinion if, if you could play matchmaker and, and make these fights with these guys who would it be for 2025 so i would be i would get the winner out of oscar never early 2025 like march april then if lamont come back down to 130 I unify with him in the summertime towards the end of the summer. You know what I mean? And if if 
if Kakachi still good, or maybe in the summertime, they do me and Anthony Kakachi during rider season. And then at the end of the year, we do me and Lamont. And then I'll be undisputed. You feel me? There you go. Like that'll be the perfect gift for me. That would actually, that would. <laughs> that, yeah. that, well, you put it in the universe. Now you're gonna go go and get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens with, with you know Tank and, and Lamont. Um, you know, depends on the outcome. Usually, you know, if, if something bad happens, you want to take, you know, a good amount of time to recover and, and, and come back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That does I know you want him to or you mentioned you want to be the one that beats him, but like what's most likely is gonna happen in that fight with, with Tank and Lamont? And just your opinion, just know in boxing. Like what do you think Tank stops him? Do you think he goes 12? He, like what what happens? Um yeah, I think I think he'll get stopped late. Late? Yeah, later. In the way the way you kind of described your fight with him. Yeah, type shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a kind of had a feeling that, that you were kind of planning both. <laughs> 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 a lot of good, interesting fights for you, but I, I did uh notice that there was some tweets going on between you and, and Ray Ford. Uh yeah. What, what's going on there, man? Is is this like have you known him for like a long time? Is this like a overall like a rivalry from when you guys were younger, or did he say some things to you that just rubbed you off the wrong way? Nah, I don't I don't know, dude, at all. Um I don't know him personally. Um I know one time because they keep they keep weighing in on it. They keep saying, Oh, he ducked us in sparring. Oh, he ducked us in sparring. Bro, the thing is, Jay Prince, all them, bro, they used to bring all their fighters over here to spar me. So they'll tell you, Shakur, all them guys, they'll tell you, man, oh, ain't ducking no smoke. He ain't ducking none. But the thing is. Buddy asked me to spar. I told him, yeah, we could spar. But I found out that I was sparring the guy that he was fighting. <laughs> I ain't no two-faced dude, and I don't, I don't play both sides. So I just, you know what I mean? I just let him make it. Like, I ain't going to spar him. I ain't going to be sparring you and your, the dude that you're fighting. You know what I mean? Especially when this guy over here showing me love. So that was that. Um, all the talking and, and, and the, the hoorah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's some. I don't know. Ho hopefully he really want to fight because um, last time he said he was fighting me the same night that Concesio, I me and Concesio fight, fought. We talked to our people, top rank, and we ain't heard, we hadn't heard nothing from him. So, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what this guy be. I don't know what he be on. Well, yeah, he, he is returning uh, soon. Um, I believe on the the matchroom card with uh, Boots and uh, and Bam. Yeah. Uh, but do you, do you think that that's something that? Yeah, I would say like interesting for you. I I know you want titles and unifications and 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 fights that you know mean something. But because of, of the stuff he said, like, does that trump all that other stuff? Yeah. No. That's no. That fight is interesting to me because, yeah. um, it's it's I don't like people like that. Yeah. Um, I really don't like people like that. And that's one of them fights where um, I just would want to put pain to them. I don't even care about the titles, none of that. Like, we could just get busy. Um, but we, if we being real, they're smoking mirrors because Eddie, Eddie Hearn know what's going on. He not going to throw. He not going to put that man in the ring with me. He not. He know. Yeah. Seeing, you know, the result that he had against Nick Ball, um, you know, he still has to win this fight. But I, I, just curious, you know, what happens if you guys fight? Like, how, how do you see that fight? Like, what, you know, I know you're confident. I, I want to ask you just straight out, like, well, what do you do to him? Bro, if we've been real, yeah, that would be, I would, I would punish, dude. Like, I probably, I, pro I probably, if not knock him out, I probably stop him for sure. Like, like um, you seen you seen what Ball and the guy before did to him. Um, you seen what kind of problems they gave him, and they were super smaller. They wasn't as like they wasn't as I don't know, man. That you you know what I mean though. That that first fight when he was fought for the title, 
he got a uh he got the knockout in the 12 round. He was losing that fight. You know what I mean? Then he got to talking about me. Then he went to Nick Ball and he couldn't do nothing with Nick Ball. Um I just I just don't see what he would do with me. You get what I mean? Like if we, if we like, compare I, I him can, to him yeah. and Ray, him and Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put 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 him in the ring with Rocky. Rocky knocks him out. Mm. The guy I fought in Cancun, he knocks him out easy. You know what I mean? Just but whenever that time comes, I'm a, I'm a show him. I, I really don't. I really ain't. I ain't got no like. I don't fuck with dude at all. So, if if that name come across my table and we can make it happen, it's it's gonna be signed quick. <laughs> like no no problem. <laughs> I, I sense I sense bad intentions from you when it comes to him. Oh yeah, for sure. I I don't got I ain't got no like. I, it's one of them things where I I ain't never seen you in life. Like I don't know you, buddy, and you just talking, 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 like bro. I don't. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be bad intentions anytime I see him. Oh wow! Anytime, even outside. Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever he oh. wanna do. I don't. I don't. I ain't trying to. I ain't on no friendly stuff with him. I don't know, dude. They talk too much. And that's just how I feel. The Boval better be a fight. You know, a lot of people felt that uh, you know the the last rounds. Uh, Bavol should have done more and, yeah. and he lost those last rounds and, and even though you know to to people a lot of people watching at home they felt that he landed the cleaner punches they said that you know better be was busier yeah like, how, how is that in your mind I, I guess like in terms of camp like did, did you guys like work on hey you know what I am gonna throw more we changed the plan a little bit we changed the training re regiment to to boost uh, everything so that I am able to throw more early on and later on um, it really ain't nothing that we had to change. Um, cause I could have did that. You see what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing that I could have put in my camp that make me do that more. I could have did that. It's just the fight was so easy. I just, you know, what I mean, I didn't feel no need to. Now that 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 you know, I understand what we got up at stake this time, and and like you said, looking back at at it. You know, get more, get more busier. I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing that I need to change in my, my training because I, I train hard and do what I need to do. You know what I mean? Is there a party that's worried if it goes twelve? Nah, no. nah, because I'm, I I want to make it so clear during the fight that it's, 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 it's gonna be no way. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just how I feel. Um, I ain't going in for the knockout. I'm going in to dominate, like to whether the knockout come or I just beat them down for 12 rounds. Either way, I'm trying to show the judges and the crowd that it's no question who the winner is. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I just know, like, just doing this for so long, like usually when you know th there's a first fight that's like close or controversial and it comes to the second fight, I know like a common question that always comes up was like, Hey, you don't want to leave it in the judges, right? Like you want to go ahead and yeah. try to knock this guy out. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna put all that pressure on myself. That's that's just that'll set you up for doing dumb stuff in the ring and, and going out your element. I don't I'm I'm gonna stay sharp, stay smart, and 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 we gonna we gonna have the business for sure. Uh, how much has that result weighed on you, if at all? Um, it weighed on me in a good way. Um it let me know that um, it just pushed me to another level, man. It just just let me know that not to take neither one of these fights for granted. And um, I mean, which I didn't, but I was putting a lot of pressure on myself each fight in and out. Just, oh, you got to be this. You got to be that. And now it's like, all right, you tried to be as perfect as you could. And then you got to ride for you now. Go out there and be free and just be, do you. And I feel like that's that's what the world need to see. Yeah, you know, it's a result that you haven't gotten since uh, 2016, you know, and, and, and since that time, uh, you've done a lot of learning. You, you've you improved a lot. But uh, to feel that feeling again, even though I'm sure, like, when the fight finished, you felt you won, yeah. um, you know, how was that self-reflection? 
Um, that feeling, yeah, it was. It, I don't know. It was. It was kind of different than than when I first lost. It was more of. It felt. It felt like bad. Like it felt like. I don't know. It just felt so corrupt. I don't know what the hell. I couldn't. Like, you I feel like even, disgusted. Like what the? Yeah, fuck? yeah. Like I couldn't put it. I couldn't. Yeah. Like the first, the first time I, the second time I lost, it was like, all right, forget this. You know what I mean? I had a lot going on, but this time it was just like, dang, I don't know. Like they did me dirty. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, man, I ain't shit. I did all this just to get, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, it's cool though. Yeah. It's like that feeling when like you get ripped off or like you, you hire someone to do a job and then they do a bad job and you're just like, what the hell? Like, this is what I get. Like, yeah. oh man. Yeah. I, I can't imagine how, how it is to kind of reconcile that feeling like going forward. Like, I don't know, like, are you jaded a bit in terms of like boxing? Like you look at it and you're like, man, this is corrupt sport. Like what the heck? Actually, it gave me a new breath of life as That's far good. as the way I thought of way I, I'm taking it. Um, I changed my diet back up. I, I, it's, it's a, I just looked at it. I tried to look at it, take the negatives, and I turned it into positives in my mind. So, yeah, no, nah, it, it made me fall back in love with the sport. That's awesome. That's good to hear because a lot of people would be, you know, a little bitter about it, and and you know, they'd just be like, yeah, this sport, like you, it's everything stacked against you. You know, like this, yeah. this is this and that. You mentioned uh, your diet changing. What about it changed? What have you noticed? And what were you doing before? Well, I had started back eating like chicken and stuff for like chicken, turkey. I was a pescatarian for like the first huh. five years when uh, I started back eating chicken last year around November 2023. And I just felt my energy dip in a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't as clear minded. But that was w with the fish or without the fish? This was when I started eating chicken and stuff. Ah. And it probably was a lot of fried because I was eating a lot of fried food and stuff. Yeah. Um, But, you know, like two months ago, I stopped eating that, all that stuff again. And, you know, my energy just rose. Everything just rose back to where I needed it to, to be. So, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to to to, to I'm excited to show, you know, um, what I've been working on and how I feel. Mm -hmm. Your fight yeah. uh, with uh, Hobson, you said that you felt the first time uh, was easy. What was so easy about it to you? Like, yeah, like, why was it easy? Um, I'm not going to lie. When I first seen uh, Concesio fight in person, I thought, I thought it was going to be easy. When I saw him fight Navarrete in person. Um, but after talking to some people and watching more film of him, I was like, ah, he kind of do got an awkward style. He throw from awkward um, punches, and so I thought he was gonna be super awkward, weird to figure out when I first got in. But honestly, it was everything that I thought. Um, I mean, he wasn't as awkward as I thought, and I guess the awkwardness was the wild punches and and like him just, I don't know, man. It just nah, it wasn't it wasn't what I thought. Um, no credit taken away from him because I still respect him as a fighter, and I'm still gonna be sharp as I as I as I can be. But it definitely, I thought he was gonna be a lot weirder. I thought he was gonna be a lot a lot more awkward than what I got. Well, then that, that's a good sign then because you're you're able to adjust to that style. And then you know with this Navarrete uh, Valdez uh, rematch, if if Navarrete does get the win, I would imagine you know you know how to. At least you have a, a somewhat of an idea of, of fighting like an awkward style, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Who do you like in that one? Vadez and, and Oscar. Yeah. I mean, never to, uh, uh I like I like I like Vadez, man. I think he's a good dude. Um, I think he got a, a like a second win in his career after the Leon Wilson fight. So I don't know, man. Navarrete beat him already, but Navarrete coming off the loss. He coming off a win. It might be a different fight. I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure, though. I, 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 you know, yeah, it could we'll, be we'll see. Yeah, because 
you know, you move up and wait and then you get comfortable at that weight and then you come back down. That, yeah. that, that can be tricky. Yeah. Like, yeah. If he makes the not if he, he'll make the weight, but it's just like how much is he going to suffer to make the weight, you know? Yeah. And motivation. I'll let like like is he still motivated? Is he you know, what I mean, it's, it's a whole lot. I feel like that come with just getting in the ring, especially going into big fights like that. So um, I don't know, man. I think it's going to be good. I'm definitely going to be paying attention to it. You're coming into this rematch. What what is uh, some last last takeaways uh, you want to tell the the boxing fandom out there about the what you're looking to do and, and your mindset coming into this rematch? We looking to become two time world champion. My mind state is to you know go out there and put on an amazing show, let the fireworks out, and you know we got one week. Make sure y'all tune in. And I'll see y'all there. All right. That's uh, Oshaki Foster rematching Hoops and Kutz and Sal coming up on November 2nd on ESPN. Hey, uh, Oshaki, thank you, man. Appreciate the time as always. Hey, thank you, bro.